So we're here at uh, Tectarian, and exactly. uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Daniel, one of the founders of Tectarian. We're a spin-off from the German Aerospace Center. We make highly stretchable and ultra-flexible tactile sensors. So tactile let me, sensors? Yeah, let me show you. This is our capacitive-based version, highly sensitive. You don't even have to touch it, so you, we can bet your interaction just like you use from our touchscreen on the phone on any surface. This is the future of smart clothing, right? Exactly. You can put it into textiles, wearables, and also in sports gear. How do you put it into? <laughs> we integrate it into our customers' products by making individual prototypes. And I can tell you already how we connect it, hard and soft interface. That's highly, highly IP-worthy information. So it's not, is it capacitive? Yeah, that was a capacitive. And we, we, we also measure the approximation. There doesn't even need to be a touch. And if we come over here, I'm going to show you the other version, which is a resistive version. And we measure the interaction forces. So on the screen, you see the blue line is kind of thin, but we can exactly measure how much pressure you apply. It might be a grasp force or uh, a grip on an instrument, on a device. And the best thing about it, it's highly robust. Please step back. And the sensor, after those impacts, just works fine as before. Nothing's how's, changed. How's that possible? It's completely polymer-based. There's no rigid materials inside, so nothing that can break or, yeah, or go broke if you hit it with a hammer. That's cool. What is that? Well, it's the same thing basically just to show the technology, how flexible our sensors are and how uh, sensitive. So it's two layers of conductive polymer and on the screen you can see the, the readout, how the sensor reacts. So you can put it on deformable and soft surfaces and have touch interaction. Uh, no tactiles, uh, could be, sensors could be used before. What is that? That's a part of a robot structure. So we can see that the robot is getting uh, an artificial skin and is now able to work safe and intuitively together with the human directly in the workspace. Nice, so you are making robot skin. Exactly, we call it sensor skin. It's not limited to robotics, but that's where we come from, from German Aerospace Center, Center for Robots uh, and Mechatronics. German Aerospace Center, do you exactly. make stuff in space? <laughs> We make stuff for space as well. Yeah. Rocket science. That's cool. Now, we are a spin-off company. Uh, we founded yeah. our company last year, Tectarian, nice. but it's German Aerospace Center Technology. And this is showing uh, how stretchable it is? Exactly. That's just to show the, the stretchability. We can go even further. <clears throat> and it's not going to break? It's not going to break. At some point, it's going to break, but it's yeah. enough for most applications. It's enough for uh, putting in jackets yeah. and, and Definitely. clothes. Definitely. That's going to be bigger than the iPhone. That's Right? Are you ready to be in clothes? We are ready to be in clothes. We are just doing the tests now for doing washing and everything that needs to be done in wearable. Yeah. Or is it possible to take something out of the clothes to wash in case it doesn't really wash? Or it has to wash, right? It's very well, it has to wash. Uh, yeah. We want to show that and we, will, we are quite uh, confident we will be able to show that. What is the challenge to make it washable? Uh, it shouldn't like short circuit with the water? Exactly. Stuff? We have to uh, shield it and, and um, yeah, close all the... The, the environment that it is not impacted by the water. All right, uh, what else are you doing for the in the future? <laughs> so we just developed the second version of the capacitive-based uh, sensor, and in the future we are going to do multi-touch gestures like swiping and pinch to zoom as you use from your touch screen, so we can bring those uh, kind of interaction to all surfaces beyond the screen. I mean, this, this is so awesome. So you can just uh, touch your the side of your jacket a little bit to answer an email or a phone call. Exactly. Yeah. There's there's plenty of opportunities, and we're very we're very confident that this will be a sh huge change in human machine interaction. But how soon? <laughs> we're working together with the leading companies of different industries, and the first uh, products will hit the stores mid 2018. 18. 2018 okay. with our technology so we integrated. Have to wait a couple years. We have to wait a, two years, but that's that's for a is high tech any, company that's quite fast. Is there any way to speed it up somehow? Well, if you put some more money in it, you might be it's able to speed it up. more money that speeds it up, right? Yeah. That's the trick. <laughs> All right, so I hope, uh, what do you think about the ID Tech X? Did you meet some people with a lot of money um, to, to do some uh, speed uh, it up? Actually, we got a lot of interesting leads, not about uh, interest, investors, but from an industry perspective, it was very, very uh, helpful. and. Great, great uh, conference. Cool. Thank you very much.